Okay, so we're going to do a bit of blending. We're going to blend two colours together. So I'm going to do some light blue and light red or pink. And I'm going to do some blue and yellow. So think about your colour wheel. Uh, the easiest colours to choose from are the primary ones, red, yellow and blue. Because if you mix those together, you're going to get one of the secondary colours, orange, purple or green. So bear that in mind if you're trying to blend two colours. And those are the easiest ones to choose. So I'm going to go with light red or pink and light blue to start with. So using that spray bottle, I'm just going to spray it directly on the cake. And that way we're not going to get drips everywhere, we've just got enough water on there cake itself. Okay, I'm loading up my brush and you can see on the brush that there's plenty of colour on it because it's saturated all the way through the brush and there's no like, drips running off the cake and everything like that. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my arm here. And you can see the colour's really strong, the pigment's really strong. It's gone straight on there, there's no drips, no running. And we're going to do the same for the blue. Okay, so once I've got my two colours down, I'm going to take that first brush again that's kind of it's still a little bit wet but not very, and I'm going to use it to go down the, the join of the two colours. And you can see it's starting to smear it together. I'm only going in this one direction, uh, along the join rather than up and down. If I was to go this way across, you can see it doesn't really blend nicely, making it like um, a harsh line. Whereas if I go the other way, I can sort of blend it and blend it nicely. And I'm just going to keep going up and down, stroking on those lines so that I blend those two colours together. And you can see it's creating that um, secondary colour in the middle, that purple in the middle. Okay, at this point I haven't added any colour in, um, until now, so I've just been using that same brush over and over again um, while, the, while the paint dries on my arm. And you can go back and add a little bit of colour if you want. If you're thinking, oh, it's too purple or it's too pink one end, you can just add a little bit of colour and blend it together. Okay, so now I'm going to do a bit with the blue and yellow and I'm going to do a, to show you just a slightly different way of blending using another one of the products from that list. So again, I'm going to get um, load up my brush with the colours and get that onto my arm.
Okay, so I've got those two colours down. And this time I'm going to use a sponge. Um, I'm going to use that one of the sort of pointier edges of the sponge that I've cut. And I'm just going to go straight on that line again and up and down. I'm not going side to side on the line. I'm still going up and down. But you can see already with that dry sponge, no water, but it's going straight. It's going straight on there. It's blending it really nicely. It's much quicker. Like I said, the sponge is dry, so you don't need any extra water. It's easier with a dry sponge as well, while the paint is still wet on your arm. Obviously, if you paint a huge area, um, you might need to go over and wet it slightly um, on the join. But there you go, look, you've got a really good paint. And then what I did at the end there was just use a baby wipe to clean up the edge, just to show you that you can clean up the edges if you wanted to. I quite like the sort of the, the smudgy look on the edges um, if I was doing a bigger space. Um, but you can obviously just use your baby wipe to clean up. <laughs> 